Hi guys, David here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make another kind of a joint for making stick furniture. In the last video, I showed you how to make a male and female joint, a mortise and tenon, for making stick furniture. Now, a variation on this joint is this joint, where it hugs the stick, like this. Okay, so let's get into it. So to make this kind of a joint, where this stick hugs the other stick, you're going to need some hole saws again. And what you're going to look for, if this is your upright, sorry, if this is your upright and your horizontal is joining it like this, so you want to find a hole saw of about the same diameter as this stick. So if I look here, I can see that this one's about the same diameter and about's enough. Okay? So then with a hole saw you can drill the end of this stick to make it fit this stick. And I'm going to show you how I do that. So you want to come over with me now to the drill press. Okay, so this stick, I want to join it to this stick and I want these unsightly corners out the way. So I need to make this round to fit this one. So I'm going to pop it here in these two V blocks. And you see I've got this V block a bit with less wings on it so I can see what's going on. And position my drill on the end. Can you see that? Okay. Now there's a danger all this stuff's going to go flying around so I should really hold it all with a clamp. And I'll just put a little V-block on the top as well and hold this lock with a clamp. So I'm going to do this on a slow speed because it's quite a large diameter bit and I don't want it to start smoking. And slowly, slowly, just to get the drill centered at the beginning. Okay, so here's what we just drilled, and this is the stick that we're going to mate it to, and as you see, it's a very nice fit. You can have a look around here, and it's hugging on quite nicely. Now, I'm not too fond of these little wings, I think I'll just sand those off, and that one's quite small, there it's gone. So I'll just sand that little wing off. Actually, you can cut this, it's not... You might be asking yourselves, how is this a joint? It's all floppy and not connecting together. So what we're going to do, I'm going to drill all the way through here and put in a large screw. Now I can already hear the detractors saying, oh, why not a mortise and tenon joint? But this is for someone who doesn't want to see those shoulders on the mortise and tenon joint. So I'm going to drill this now. This drill also cuts a hole for the plug, because I'm going to put a wooden plug over the head of the screw afterwards. So I'll just get myself approximately in the middle. This is a five millimeter hole for a five millimeter screw. So you can see, I hope you can see, there's a place here for the plug that's going to hide the head of the screw afterwards. And a five millimeter pilot hole went all the way through the stick. Now I just need to drill a four millimeter hole here so I don't split the stick open with the screw. And there's a small indentation from the five mil so I know I'm in the right place. So 
here's my five mil screw. This one's 80 millimeters long and I'm just going to put a bit of wax on it. So if I need to open it afterwards, I'm not going to snap the screw inside. Pop that through there. There you go. So that's a nice, strong and very clean joint for a stick joint. And you don't have any of the shoulders that people don't always like with the mortise and tenon joint. This isn't so attractive. So for this, I have a plug cutter which is a set with this. These make a 12.7 millimeter plug. Never mind, you could always drill a 12 millimeter hole and put a 12 millimeter dowel to hide the screw. But I use this plug cutter. He cuts little plugs like this, which we can just pop in here. Put some glue and knock it in, sand it off and we have a beautiful joint. Now of course, depending on what size hole saws you've got, you can make all different size joinery with bigger sticks, smaller sticks. You just need to find the right hole saw for the vertical. And if it's the same size as this, this one is gonna hug it very nicely. Okay guys, so there you have it. Our nice joint. Of course you can do these angled as well if you like. Just move this piece at an angle when you drill it. I've plugged the hole, and when this is all sanded and got some finish on it, no one will ever know there was a screw there. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe, share it with a friend, and I'll see you in the next one. All the best. Bye.